Uh, this just in from Decision Desk HQ, and I'll get both of your reactions. Uh, they are now saying a runoff in Georgia is inevitable, but inevitable between Raphael Warnock and Herschel Walker. So these two will face off on December 6th in a runoff election. Not really a surprise here. We knew it was going to be close going in. But my question to you, and Bill, we'll start with you first. Um, what do you expect Democrats to do to double down on Warnock and try to solidify a win for him? Uh, let me say, first of all, I want to echo everything that Brian said about Donald Trump's falling star. I think that's a big lesson of these 2024, 2022 midterms, and I hope Republicans uh, recognize that. This runoff is uh, not unexpected, uh, and I think it does give the advantage to Senator Warnock because, uh, first of all, Brian Kemp, who was the big pull in Georgia, will not be on the ballot. And secondly, there'll be no uh, libertarian independent candidate. Um, so it's going to be one on one December 6th. Uh, and I noticed today that Herschel Walker only got 8% of the African American vote in Georgia. I'd say advantage December 6th, Raphael Warnock. All right, Ryan, uh, what's in Republicans' playbook on this one? Look, I think what's going to happen in this race, I, I've seen this movie before. It happened, you know, with, with Purdue and Kelly Loeffler, uh, you know, two years ago. Donald Trump intervened in that race. He made them, you know, back his election denying claims. I think that Trump's going to try to play in this race, too. And if Walker rejects his support, which he should, uh, Trump's going to attack him and make problems for him and depress his base. I don't see Trump, you know, sitting this out. He's going to announce again, it seems, next Tuesday for president, and he's facing a litany of legal issues. So I, I think it's it's a, a problematic uh, environment for Walker, given that Trump is not going to likely sit this out. He'll be an even bigger uh, uh, presence in this race, given that he's likely announcing next Tuesday for president again, according to his you know recent uh, uh, comments. And you're right. Uh, Bill Press is right. Governor Kemp, who was popular, who increased his margin against the same opponent, uh, Stacey Abrams, from four years ago, is not on the ballot to, to bring Herschel Walker across the finish line. So I, I think at this point, it's Edge Warnock. However, uh, we, we run campaigns uh, to see what, how things turn out. So I think we have to just wait and see. But I think given the dynamics, I give the advantage to Walker as to uh, Warnock getting into the uh, runoff. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to NewsNationNow.com, NewsNationNow.com, and you can find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of NewsNation's fact-driven coverage.